Hey YouTube family, I just want to take the time for a few minutes to share my thoughts on the passing of DMX that we lost the other day and give a warning to the body of Christ. First of all, I really admire and look up to DMX because not only was he a prolific rapper, but he also was a God-fearing man who believed in God. Uh, he talked a lot about God. He talked about a lot about the church. He prayed very enthusiastically. He believed in the word of God. He gave his life over to the Lord. And I know a lot of you religious zealots or Pharisees, you Sadducees, you religious people, you always want to condemn people and put people in hell but I've taught many a times that you want to show mercy to people so God can show mercy on you. Because as the scripture says, to whom you mete out your judgment, that judgment shall be me measured and met out back to you. To whom you show mercy, mercy will be given to you. So if you show mercy towards other people on your day of judgment, the Lord will have mercy upon you because we only have one judge. And that is the Lord Jesus Christ. He does all the judging. We do not put people as the church in heaven or in hell. They are known by their fruit. And all we do is judge and inspect their fruit. But God has the final say on who he is going to allow to enter into the gates of heaven. But I just want to say that we have lost a great rapper one that spoke a lot of wisdom. He spoke a lot of knowledge. Uh, everyone has their struggles. You know, if you want to try to focus on his flaws with drugs, I am a conspiracy theorist myself, and I have my different point of views. Uh, kind of like just with Kanye West, when you have somebody that steps out of the box for God, especially in the music industry, and he stood up many a times, and told people that the music industry was satanic. They were Luciferian. They don't, Hollywood does not like God at all. The record label industry, they promote Satan. They promote Lucifer. And this man took a stand. He spoke about the evils of the industry. He st spoke about the sodomy, the homosexuality of the industry. And once they got you, that's the reason why I told you, it's not only selling your soul, <laughs> But your booty comes with your soul in that industry. You really have to give it up in that industry. You know, you just don't make the money without selling your body. That's the reason why they bring you in. First of all, when you're young, the little young girls from uh, Disney, they come in innocent. They come in like Britney Spears. And then they bring you in as this innocent little girl. And after a couple albums, they start defaming you. They got you putting on horse apparel, horse clothes. They got you looking like a slut. They got the men looking like homosexuals because they got you at these parties with the record producers, a lot of kissing, hugging, orgies going on. And he was a man that stood against that and DMX. And just like Kanye West, he spoke out many a times about the evils of the record industry. Michael Jackson, there's quite a few you can go down the list and you can name. But he had a great love for God. And he also had a struggle. The same way every Christian believer has a struggle. Whether his struggle was drugs and everybody knew he did have a drug addiction. But my conspiracy, I was saying... Sometimes when you take a bold stance for God and you step out the box, Hollywood doesn't like it and they want to silence you. They can use you as a ransom or a scapegoat or what they would call a sacrifice. You have got to be sacrificed because you're telling too much. You're putting too much out there. See, Hollywood doesn't like to put all of their business out there. They'll show you clues and pics and cartoons and even concerts. And even when it comes down to the Super Bowl, They'll put up different choirs with red eyes and pentagrams and satanic satanic signs and all of that kind of stuff. But they won't just come out there like I heard for Super Bowl 666. They say it flashed across the top of the screen. Different things like that. 
That's what they do. They come in a very subtle way, and that's how Lucifer is. He's very subtle. He doesn't come outright blatant to you. He comes just like the snake did to Eve. He comes in a cunning manner. And Michael Jackson and many of these other stars have spoken against the record industry, and so did DMX. And yes, my point was his struggles. Yes, he had struggles just like any other man. And his was a, a drug addiction that he struggled with, that he went to rehab to try to go get help. But whatever it was in his last final hours, I pray that he made peace with his God. I believe in my heart that he knew God. He had a relationship with God. And that's all that really matters. Whatever goes on from there, that's between him and God. But my advice and my warning to you as Christians, don't judge. Don't condemn people and send them to hell as if you're God sitting on the throne. Only God can do that. We pray for his family in this time of bereavement and their loss right now. The music world, the industry is mourning the loss of a great rapper, one that was iconic when he spoke. He spoke not just rap, but he also spoke wisdom. He made sense of of different things going on in life on the economical sociological level he dealt with the mind of things and it's so sorry that we had to lose him but we all have our own addictions we all have our struggles the things that we battle with in life yours might be a food addiction yours might be pop yours might be too much chocolate and some of our addictions and our struggles take us out Sometimes we can't handle it. The doctor tells you, don't drink any more caffeine. You can't have no more of that fat, greasy hamburger meat. You can't eat that steak anymore. And we continue to eat. We get high blood pressure, uh, low blood pressure. We get diabetes from the sweets. You know, even as saints, we have to take care of our bodies. We have to control ourselves and have self-control. And I quote the scripture many a times that a uh, man without self-control it's like a city without any walls. So you have to have self-control and you've got to watch your diet. You've got to exercise. You've got to take care of the church. We lose a lot of bishops, a lot of pastors, a lot of saints because we don't take care of our bodies. So we have a struggle with food. Yours might not be addiction to uh, alcohol. Yours might not be cirrhosis of the liver and addiction with drugs. Yours might be battling food, obesity, bringing your weight under control. Your weight, even for men, if the circumference of your weight gets greater than 40 inches, they say, you got to watch it. You're on the verge of a heart attack or a stroke. You got to put down that cake sometimes. You can't eat all the sweets that you want to eat. But that's all I just wanted to say on my uh, thoughts on the passing of DMX. May God bless his family, strengthen them, be with them. Uh, leave your comments in the comment section. Feel free to share, like, subscribe, and share, and pass the word of God on. Just share. Hit that share button. Pass it on to another brother or sister. Let's get as many viewers as we can for the Lord Jesus Christ in these last and evil days, these perilous times that we are living in. And let's be on one accord, saints. Let's not judge. All we do is quote the word of God. God is the judge. And we show mercy and we show love. Okay, YouTubers, I'll bring you another one. God bless you.